In their quest for sporting immortality, Manchester City is on the brink of achieving the first part of their treble ambition. In the first part of their treble ambition. The first part of their treble ambition. Just a few weeks ago, their path seemed riddled with obstacles, but now Pep Guardiola's side has a clear run to success. The Ola's side has a clear run to success. Clear run to success. The sky blue juggernaut has left a trail of destruction in their wake, embarking on a staggering run of form that leaves them only three wins away from matching Manchester United's remarkable feat from 1999. Manchester United's remarkable feat from 1999. The United's remarkable featuring from 1999. Their first target can be realized this weekend as they aim to secure a Premier League title for the fifth time in six seasons. The fifth time in six seasons. Fifth time in six seasons. Previously, the title race appeared to be a fierce battle that would go down to the wire. However, the landscape has dramatically changed after Arsenal faltered under the relentless pressure exerted by City. Arsenal's recent 3-0 home defeat against Brighton and Hove Albion all but extinguished their hopes of clinching the title. 3-0 home defeat against Brighton and Hove Albion all but extinguished their hopes of clinching the title. Brighton and Hove Albion all but extinguished their hopes of clinching the title. In fact, City might be crowned champions even before taking the field this weekend. If Arsenal loses to relegation threaten Nottingham Forest on Saturday, a scenario that seemed improbable not long ago when the Gunners were leading the table, City's title triumph would be confirmed. Probable not long ago when the Gunners were leading the table, City's title triumph would be confirmed. Were leading the table, City's title triumph would be confirmed. Alternatively, if Arsenal manages to recover from their setback, City can seal the deal by defeating Chelsea at home on Sunday. By defeating Chelsea at home on Sunday. Chelsea at home on Sunday. Even if they require additional matches, City still has two more opportunities against Brighton and Brentford to collect the three points necessary to be crowned the kings of English football once again. Necessary to be crowned the kings of English football once again. To be crowned the kings of English football once again. In all honesty, it would come as a surprise if City fails to extend their winning streak in the league to 14 matches by the end of the season. The 14 matches by the end of the season. Just by the end of the season. Their dominance seems unyielding, as exemplified by their recent 4-0 triumph over Real Madrid in the second leg of the Champions League semi-final at the Etihad Stadium. Of the Champions League semi-final at the Etihad Stadium. Semi-final at the Etihad Stadium. The scoreline hardly reflected the significant gap in class between the two sides. As City looks ahead to the final against Inter Milan, they hold no fear of their opponents. Stint Milan. They hold no fear of their opponents. The Milan. They hold no fear of their opponents. City's attacking midfielder, Jack Grealish, marvels at their invincibility, noting, I don't know what it is, whether it is our fans or the pitch, we just feel unstoppable. Or it is our fans or the pitch, we just feel unstoppable. Or the pitch. We just feel unstoppable. Even in the league, we feel no one can beat us. It is unbelievable. Guardiola's team faces another critical challenge in the form of the FA Cup final against Manchester United on June 3rd. Of the FA Cup final against Manchester United on June 3rd. Against Manchester United on June 3rd. This encounter could prove to be the toughest hurdle in their treble pursuit, as their local rivals are eager to keep their epic 1999 achievement as a unique part of their history. 99 achievement as a unique part of their history. Among 90 achievement as a unique part of their history. 
While the title race has concluded earlier than anticipated, the battle to avoid relegation remains fiercely contested, despite Southampton having already been condemned to the drop. Despite Southampton having already been condemned to the drop. Despite Southampton having already been condemned to the drop. Leicester City is teetering on the edge of retaining their top flight status. Depending on the results this weekend, they might have to accept the reality of life in the championship. I'd have to accept the reality of life in the championship. Accept the reality of life in the championship. Currently sitting in 19th place with 30 points and only two games remaining, Leicester's fate hangs in the balance. Leeds United follows closely behind with 31 points, while Everton and Nottingham Forest have 32 and 34 points respectively. While Everton and Nottingham Forest have 32 and 34 points respectively. Nottingham Forest have 32 and 34 points respectively. Should Nottingham Forest defeat Arsenal and Everton emerge victorious against Wolverhampton Wanderers on Saturday, Leicester will face top four hopefuls Newcastle United on Monday, knowing that only a win can keep their slim hopes of avoiding relegation alive. They, knowing that only a win can keep their slim hopes of avoiding relegation alive. Only a win can keep their slim hopes of avoiding relegation alive. Leeds United will also hope for assistance from Arsenal and Wolverhampton Wanderers before their crucial match against West Ham United on Sunday. Meanwhile, West Ham United on Sunday. Meanwhile, United on Sunday. Meanwhile. Liverpool's late season resurgence presents a potential disruption to the top four ace. They will host Aston Villa seeking an eighth successive victory to maintain the pressure on Newcastle and Manchester United, both of whom face away fixtures against Bournemouth. Castle and Manchester United, both of whom face away fixtures against Bournemouth. I did, both of whom face away fixtures against Bournemouth.